um, what time is it? It's 5.58 a.m. Going to try to take off at 6 a.m. exactly. We're in Trinidad, Tobago, Piaco International. And if I'm correct, I should be able to get onto the runway. Yep, just up ahead. Follow the yellow brick road. So, going to have a bit of a lovely coastal flight. Just stop here and get permission to take off. Runway 10. Stop there. Tune to the tower. Like India Golf 3. Mike into your golf one. Cleared for takeoff runway one zero big zero zero seven. Okay, so basically taking off to the east. And then we'll be turning left to go about heading um what's it say on my autopilot here about heading three five zero to the first waypoint. Okay, ready for takeoff. Done all the pre flight checks. Temperatures are good, pressures are good. Full throttle and release the brakes. Fifty knots, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, rotating six degrees, climbing out, hold the stick back, gear up and flaps up 150 knots let's wait for 200 and turn to the north 200 knots let's start turning and we have to climb to 2000 feet to get over those mountains okay we're on track Leaving airspace. Uh, here we go. Mike India Golf One. Okay, dark. Excellent. So we're heading almost north. That's at east over there. And as I said, we've got to climb. We're going through a thousand feet now. So if you're in a lower powered aircraft, you might want to take your time to climb to altitude before you proceed across these hills. Now according to my flight planning, um, 2,200 feet should be enough, but you've still got to keep your eyes open. Now, I'm at 2.4 now, and as we can see, if I go slightly left, the terrain gets, terrain gets even higher, so, you know, if you want to be really safe and it's a bit dark, I would go to 3,000 feet. Okay, so slowing up because we're almost at the first turn point. Las Cuevas, which is like a beach, one of the many lovely beaches. Now they're very hard to spot coming from the mountains. They all look rather similar. There's a beach and a headland. But um, we'll get a picture of that. Glorious. But since we're on track, and I mean this is the right spot, but as I said in the, in the brief, uh, doesn't actually that's that's what I was aiming for that headland right. Uh, as long as you turn left when you get to the water, you'll be okay. Now we're going to enjoy the uh, cliffs and the spectacular north coast of, of this island. 
beautiful reflections here. Let's get that in camera out. Wow, glorious. And the wingtip cam, nice. A bit dark, but it's okay. I'll be coming back here later in the morning. And we'll see a lot more detail. I'll do three flights today. Lovely. At about 500 feet at the moment, which is kind of a nice uh, coastal sightseeing altitude. Some waterfalls in there. Yeah, look, there's one. Nice. Now I'm going to expedite this leg. Yeah, because I can. Get the speed up to about 400 knots in this thing. Now that valley I considered flying up and there's lots of nice, let's just climb a bit so you can see it. Yeah. Just trying to sit up in my seat to see that. There's so many nice places to fly around here. But anyway, keep this simple. We're just flying along the coast. And then we're going past, we're going to three islands. Small islands just off the end of the main island here. And then turning back to the airport, basically. Now, the north side of the island. It's largely uninhabited except for these beach resorts. But as you see on the south side, it's a different story. It's uh, very well developed down there. And I'm guessing the terrain would be pretty hard to build a port here. But um, surprisingly uh, gentle gradients on the, on the south side. Okay, so here's our first island. Certainly, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean territory, isn't it? First island, second one coming up. And you know what? Just for just for a lark, I'm going to fly through here. Well, why not? A bit of fun, yeah. Cool. And this is the third island. I'm going to turn left now. There is a or was a lighthouse right up here. Let's see. There is a small building left there. You just see the sun on it. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to turn all the way around the bottom here. Go back along the south coast. As they say, you know, I think you said what he said, famously said, yeah, just keep turning left, you can't miss it. <laughs> get, I might get the wind camera out onto that. Oops. Well, some of these sunsets actually don't photograph that well. They certainly a joy to um, fly through. And of course the human eye can see much more subtle uh, gradients of colour and hue, chroma, tone than probably any, any camera, I think. Now, it's pretty dark down here, so we won't see a lot, but uh, we will later in the day. So next turn point, about six miles out, is a river mount. So there's the last of the small islands, we're back onto the mainland now. Actually, this is the Coast Guard uh, headquarters right in there. I was considering using that for a turn point, but it's uh, kind of spot for choice here. 
just going to uh, tuck it in here. So I'm sitting around 500 feet still. And five miles to the river mouth. And don't worry if you miss it because basically just um, keep the water on the right and keep the land on the left and you can't go wrong with this one. Let's just slow down a bit. Three miles out I can see a couple of high-rise buildings. That's a good uh, landmark and then on the next point we'll see the, we'll see the river now coming up. So you've got two high rises river and there's a nice swimming pool and resort hotel right there. Bingo. That's it. Now turn slightly right which means we'll just follow the coast and we'll be headed all the way back to the airport. Fresh and simple flight plan. Some uh, cargo traffic out there. Now you can see the airport lights up ahead actually, if I climb a bit now to a thousand feet, level out, lean across to the left a bit, you can see the runway lights up ahead, so let's call in now, see what they want us to do. Um, channel 2, Channel 1. Uh, like India Golf 4. Like India Golf 4. The Arco Tower Big 007 is 8 miles west of 2001. Oh, this is a bird sanctuary to the right, actually. Yeah. Very big, too. So let me think. Uh, that's the other direction. So we want to keep the airport on the left. Okay. Mike into your golf one. Enter left downwind runway two eight big zero zero seven. Two eight. So runway one zero is uh, this direction, but we want to come back the other way. We took off on one zero, but. As often happens, you come back and they want you to land the other way. It's okay. So let's get to about a thousand feet. We're a bit high at the moment. Keep the airport on the left. Go out there and look for a good turn point to come back and land. Feels good. Going a little bit fast, but Okay. Well, it's not really, but you know, we've got the special permission to uh, bend a few of the rules, you might say. I always like to fly with a narrative. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this in the full daylight. Okay, let's roger that. Mike into your golf one. Uh, so that lake off to the right, that would be a good uh, navigation, visual navigation point. Now, can we see somewhere on the left? Probably this town, I think. Uh, it's a good turn point, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty visible. And at night time you'll be able to see it too. Okay, let's turn to final. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good uh, landmark. 
gear down. Flaps full. And, uh, trim down as the nose comes up and the flaps come down. Now, it's one of these confusing airports. I'm pretty sure this is a runway. But that taxi way on the right looks so bright, you could easily try to land on that by mistake. Yeah, okay, this is the runway. Yeah. Looks like there's no approach lights turned on anyway. 146 knots. Um, I think I'll leave the speed brake where it is. The engines are full idle. Come in a little bit fast, but that's okay. 134, runway 28 is requested. 125 at threshold, so 15 knots fast. We're settling now at 114. We'll stick back and flare a bit. Touch down at 99. Very good. Uh, not so good after landing because I'm talking too much. I should have. I didn't have my feet up on the rudders. Very bad form that is. I certainly do that and go and have some breakfast. Come back and uh, fly the route again when the sun's a bit higher in the sky. Excellent.